Hey everybody, I am Tech Engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. So as Bitcoin moves from being a somewhat niche asset that it is today, to being the uh, full base layer of the monetary system for the global economy, we need to further decentralize mining. The true citadel of Bitcoin is 100% decentralized. Um, protected even from widespread destruction like war. We would need nodes and miners in underground, in space, um, in public utilities, and in homes across across the world. And one of the best ways we can get them into homes across the world is to actually use them as heaters. I also wanted to uh, double spend my energy. The process of ASIC mining is energy intensive, and any time you spend energy, 100% of that electricity gets turned into heat. And knowing this, I wanted to try to capture that heat to actually heat my house. All right, so I wanted to go over my uh, design considerations and uh, whiteboarding sketch out. Um, when I was getting started with the project, I knew that I wanted to get my uh, Bitcoin miners in line with my furnace so that I could use them to heat my house. Uh, so this was the original sketch outs that I did. So on the right side, uh, you can see a retrofit ASIC miner heater for HVAC heat requested. Um, so this would be the overview of my furnace and ducting. Just from a high level perspective, you can see it coming fr in from the house, going through the furnace and back out to the house. And in general, that's how an HVAC works. It pulls in the cool air from the house, heats it up, puts it back in. So I knew that I needed to get my uh, miner in line with that flow. So uh, this would kind of show you the flow when heat is requested that I direct it through the miner and back out into the ducting and through the furnace and back into the house. And the idea being this could be kind of a stage one heating, and if needed, the furnace could still be used to further heat the air going back into the house. And then on the left side, um, this would be a heat not requested situation. Uh, so something would close off the ducting on both sides here, um, but the, the miners would still be running, and I need to then exhaust that heat. Um, so I would essentially have an intake from the attic and then dump it back out into the attic. And this is assuming relatively cool air in the attic. All right, I wanted to go over the design of the Bitcoin miner heater chamber box that I built. This is a custom built box. I made it specifically to hold three Antminer S9s. I will put the uh, exact dimensions in the description. However, I wanted to show some of the features of it here. So I built it out of plywood. This is just uh, 11 32nd inch plywood all around. Cut it to size. And then I put some of this uh, metal sheeting on the inside. Just because this box is going to get very hot. Uh, so then I cut out a hole here for the intake and for the exhaust. This is a 14 by 6 hole. Put the metal down here, so and then I put this uh, felt. So that way when the, the box closes, it has a smooth, smooth edge along that felt and also stops more of the airflow. Uh, but, but I also have that, that metal piece, this metal lip here, that is still going to provide that uh, protection for the heat and potentially fire. I actually have this guy here for detecting smoke. And this is actually a Z-Wave connected fire alarm. So when this goes off, it actually signals my smart home and it can send me a message on my phone as well as set off the siren in the house and turn on all the lights. Uh, so either if I'm gone, it'll let me know or if I'm here, it'll wake me up. Hopefully fire never happens, but always got to be safe. 
Um, I have the power supply sitting underneath them. And this box just closes with about, you can see about two inches to spare here. So the idea is that all the airflow comes across here and it evacuates all the air out of the box as quickly as possible. And then I can uh, send that hot air into my heater. And this is a this is a fan right here. I think it's about 740 CFM. This fan does a much better job of evacuating the air quickly. And then I just put a couple latches on here and I made a cutout for the wires so that this can seal nice and tight. Like that. I also wanted to demonstrate the difference in sound dampening that this box is providing. So it is somewhat noisy up here with the box closed, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and see if we can hear the difference here. It should be pretty significant. Here I have the bench test of my damper solution for directing the airflow in and out of the Bitcoin miner heater. So on this side would be the intake. And this right here is a unpowered closed damper. So without any power, it is closed. And this would be the intake from the house. Over here is an unpowered open. This would be the intake uh, from the attic. And you can see there that is a Suncourt model Z0208. It's an 8 inch uh, power close, unpowered open. And then on this side would be the output. Same thing. This one would go to the house for heat flow going to the house. So it would come in from the house over here through the Bitcoin miner heater that will be here flowing out to the house. And then if we have this one open, it would come in from the attic through the Bitcoin miner heater and then out to the attic if we were not requesting heat. So I'm doing a bench test here so I have them all wired up. This is just a 16 gauge speaker wire and this is 18 gauge wire right here that I had lying around. Both should be big enough wiring. It is just 24 volt uh, power supply and it's a total of 30 watts. So we're talking under an amp draw on those wires. So what I'm going to do right now is plug this in and we're going to watch it all switch. So you can see those change in position. You can see the wattage. It's drawn about 33 watts for all four dampers. And this would be simulating a request for heat. So what that did was open up the intake here, close the attic intake, close the attic output, and open the house output. And then when I unplug it, the opposite is going to happen. And you can see those guys closing up. And that now is closed. That is now open in the unpowered state. So this would be when heat is not requested. It's going to be drawing in air from the attic and expelling it into the attic. While these guys here would be closed. And this is a 24 volt transformer. Um, but in the attic, I'm actually going to plug in the stage one heating line directly from the thermostat, which also provides 
24 volt. And I just have that split out five ways. And these are non-polarized inputs, so it doesn't matter if it's power and then ground or power and then ground going the opposite way. So bench test successful. Next step, put it in place. All right, so I have the heater off and the attic exhaust is active as well as the attic intake. As you can see, my Ecobee thermostat is off. <coughs> now I'm going to turn on the heater and we're going to watch the dampers change position and we should see the other intake activate and air should flow out of this guy here. So if you look at the position of this guy here, this is going to rotate as well as this guy. All right, here we go. Okay, should come on in a second here. Yep, there it goes, it's moving. You can see that damper change in position. And this intake should activate. As you can see, this is moving a little bit, and there is definitely airflow there. And that is moving in. And now the exhaust has closed. And the airflow is going out and into the house. So that is working as expected. All right, just wanted to give one final overview of the completed proof of concept Bitcoin miner heater. Uh, so as you can see here, the Bitcoin miners reside in this box here. Um, airflow is going in this direction. Uh, so right here, we have the intake from the attic, which comes up a, a short duct into this uh, 12 inch box that has a filter in it. I wanted to uh, filter the incoming air from the attic as it can be quite dusty up here. Uh, so that is the final piece that I just put on. So that is now filtered. The other input comes from the house and that drops down into the house there. And for the output here, we go to a eight inch fan to a Y split and you can see the attic exhaust that is just open to the attic, although it's in heating mode right now, so it's actually flowing uh, through this duct, out this duct, which goes up and over and comes down right there, which is actually uh, my primary intake for my main HVAC unit, and that's the primary duct that goes to the intake of the HVAC unit, which is right there. So that's the intake to the furnace. Here is the wiring for my uh, Bitcoin miner heater. I installed this direct wire outdoor smart switch, a 40 amp by GE, that gives me uh, Z-Wave control over the 220 volt circuit. Um, so you can see the 220 volt line coming in here to the input and then the output goes just directly into this box here and that outputs coming out to my PDU and then going into my Bitcoin miners so I can turn that on and off uh, with a smart home switch which can, I can then put a lot of logic around anything I need um, such as turning the circuit off when, a, when smoke is detected uh, so that's my 220 volt wiring uh, Ethernet up there. 110 volt line over here as well. 
for the switch, and that's a smart switch right there. The Zoos smart switch that I can control the fan separately since that's on 110 volt. So I wanted to cover some of the internals of my Bitcoin miner heater and the performance that I am seeing. Um, so like I said, I have three ant miners. Uh, two of them are the 13.5T model, and one is a 14T model. Um, the top left here is one of the 13.5Ts. I am overclocking it using Brains OS. Uh, I'm seeing a real hash rate of approximately 17.4 terahash per second. I am, I've pushed the power up to about 1.6 kilowatts, which is the max that the power supply will, will do. And I want to uh, actually maximize heat by maximizing power. Um, I'm seeing about 90 watts per terahash. In my testing, when I put the power down to about 1500 watts, I was seeing an improvement in the efficiency to about 84 watts per terahash, which is better. But uh, in this case, since it's a heater, I actually want to maximize heat output, so that's all right. Um, seeing about the same on the uh, secondary S9 13.5T. On the 14T, I cannot use Brains OS, it is, it's not compatible. Uh, I plan to switch that out at some point, but for now it's just putting out 14.14T. So my total output is about 48 terahash per second. For the data, I did a test of about five days uh, where I recorded the temperature uh, in different points in my house using my smart home sensors. I have a sensor in almost every room of the house as well as the as outside and the attic and one downstairs and then I plotted it in this graph here. Uh, this is approximately a five day span. Uh, you can see these uh, spikes representing the the highs for the day and then the lows. Um, so the areas in green are when the Bitcoin miner heater were active and the white is when it was uh, just exhausting to the attic. Um, so as an overall trend you can see the outside and the attic temperature is dropping uh, while the, the temperatures inside the house uh, remain level or increased during that same time frame. Um, so with this data, I was basically able to prove that the Bitcoin miner heater was being effective. And uh, this was the first five days that I was running it. So I got some good data here. Uh, since then, I have been using the Ecobee. I have about a month worth of data now. Uh, so in another video, I will probably go over the data in further detail. But uh, just to give you an overview here, we can see um, how much the Bitcoin miner heater is actually running. So stage one is what I have set up for the uh, Bitcoin miner heater. And stage two, I have connected to my actual furnace. Um, so as you can see, most of the day, the uh, Bitcoin miner heater is dumping heat into the house and the fan is pushing that heat around the house. Uh, there was only one time today where stage two did come on for about 10 minutes and that's when the, the t I bumped the temperature up uh, first thing in the morning. So some takeaways from this project. Uh, first of all, the, the proof of concept is a success. Uh, the Bitcoin miner heater is currently heating my house. There are improvements and I learned a lot along the way. I basically started with a miner and an idea and I built this system. So I definitely want to extrapolate this further and I lot, have a lot of other ideas uh, for di different applications. Um, the heat can be used to heat other things as well. So sit, stay tuned. I have a lot coming down the road. This is just the first version. Um, I will come back with some more data later. I have about a month of data right now and I can see the success of the heater and how it's heating the house, but I need to dig more into the data and see the efficiency of the heating process. I need some more data. So Stay tuned for another video on that.